And along with the Susan G. Coleman Breast Cancer Foundation, I want to welcome you into my company of friends. Come on in. Essence Act. Ah. Uh, my baby. Your baby. You my baby. You were my first mother. You were the first person to be cast as my mother. And you were one of my first daughters. Yeah. I mean, I've known you since your early 20s. Mm -hmm. And you became part of our family. Yeah. I always, my joke is when I see you, I want to burp you. <laughs> But it's been such a pleasure to know you all these years and to work with you on so many projects. Because I've been your mommy a couple of times. A couple of times, yeah. And it's always such a, and you're such a beautiful woman. You've grown into such a beautiful woman. Well, thank and you. And mother. And mother. How's that going? Uh, it, I was just telling someone that it is the most astounding, miraculous thing you could ever be a part of. Mm. And you really understand the grace of God and the miracles that are abounding every day. But there's so many firsts mm -hmm. in between that you don't anticipate that blow your mind. Well, enjoy every ounce of it every minute because it goes so, so fast. <laughs> so fast, I know. know. You'll be going off to college. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah. But let me ask you something. How do you manage taking care of yourself? Because you know, mothers, we have so much that is uh, required from us, uh, so many things, so many people we have to take care of. How are you taking care of yourself? Well, I think you get to a point where you realize that not prioritizing yourself is a detriment to the people you love. You know, because if you're spent, if you're exhausted, if you're depleted, then there's nothing to give. You're giving from an empty coffer. And so you have to put yourself first. And it's not a, a selfish thing because by loving yourself, you really are creating um, a pool of abundance to love on others. That's right. You know, I brought you here because we're talking about breast cancer today and yeah. how to be more active and take charge of our own personal breast health. Is there any breast cancer stories you have? Is there anybody that you've been connected to? What is your connection with breast cancer? Breast cancer has been a part of my personal story as well as friends. Um, I lost a friend to breast cancer in um, 2010. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Um, and then I had another friend who was diagnosed two years ago who is a survivor. And I myself had a breast scare when I was a young woman. And yeah. You're young. Yeah. And your friends were young, I'm assuming. Yeah, very young. Um, my friend Kristen Martinez, she passed away from breast cancer at 35. That's young. Because yeah. you know we're diagnosed earlier. You know, for some reason, black women, they don't really know why, but we get an earlier diagnosis, and sometimes a more powerful one. Yeah. Breast cancer is the most common cancer among black women. We are more likely to be diagnosed younger, at later stages, and with more aggressive forms of the disease, which limits our treatment options. friends and I, we talk about it. We talk about our health issues. We talk about the things that um, come up. And I think it's important to have the same kind of um, freedom and conversation that you have about, you know, what you watched on TV and the latest power twist and turn. I think we need to prioritize talking about our health, talking about um, our care and, and, and our stresses because Cancer is such, um, it's an amalgam of many things. It's about diet, it's about history, it's about stress, it's about so many things that will spark cancer. It's not just a matter of, do you have a history of cancer in your family? Right. I didn't have a history of cancer I in my either. family. But you know, this is so great that you said that about, you know, talking with your girls about health because this is what Know Your Girls campaign is all about. Right. Know your girls right. or know your girls. girls. <laughs> right. You know, so I'm so glad you brought that up and that you have a support system of women that not only do you, like you said, talk about the latest fashion and mm -hmm. the latest lip gloss, but mm -hmm. hey, when's the last time you've been to the doctor? The campaign is called Know Your Girls because it can be life-saving to know your girls, your breasts, as intimately and as deeply as you know the girls in your life. The women who love you, who support you, celebrate you, the women who hold you up through it all. Your moms, aunties, your sisters, your best friends, your sorors, and your daughters. We have a, a group chat 
um, and there's 10 of us on there. And literally last year, everybody was like, did you go to the doctor? Did you get your mammogram? Like everybody, and literally everybody checked in. Some people were like, oh yeah, I've been did that. Somebody in the fringe of the group had a scare. And so like literally it ignited everyone to say, hey, when's the last time you had a physical? When's the last time you did a mammogram? And we all checked back in with each other. I'm clear, I'm clear, I'm clear, I'm clear. But you know, in those group chats again, in those text messages and, and you know your insta story all whatever the private chat that you're doing i think it's really important to check in on everything well i want to thank you for coming here today to in the company of friends know your girls because obviously you know your girls and you know your girls, girls. yeah <laughs> but i want to thank you we're going to continue this conversation with some great people but I'm so glad that you're here, my I'm baby. So, oh, I'm baby. so happy to be look here. Look at you, she's all grown up. Oh my gosh, <laughs> anything, anytime for you. Just beautiful, thank you, sweetie. You're welcome.